My guest for this episode is one of the renowned figures in Cebu, Councillor Nestor Archival. We are presently here at Eco House. This was developed back in 2001. It is the first sustainable and self-sufficient house in the Philippines. Together, we get into a conversation on his environmental advocacy, delving into renewable energy, waste management, and other eco-sustainable innovations. We also talk about solar panels, as well as his recent use of the 100% fully electric vehicle, the Nissan Leaf, and his experience with it. We also talk about other relevant social issues, such as the economy, the pandemic, and his many insights. I hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you. Manghapon, Councillor. Manghapon, uh, Michael. It's nice to have you on as a guest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this I'm, is the second time? Yeah. yeah. I'm truly honored again to have you on. Thank you too. So, yeah. How have you been so far? I see uh, we have a very beautiful electric car behind us. Yeah, that's correct. Well, I'm very thankful to Nissan Philippines and, of course, um, Nissan Cebu yeah. for lending me this uh, car for a few months. Para testing, no? Mm. And I understand uh, daghan ka yung mga ganahan sa electric car because, well, of course, especially karon nga mahal ka yung gasolina. And the other thing is, wala pollution. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm very happy that I have this for the next few months so that me, myself, can, of course, uh, test kung uh, unsa man, unsa may diferensya. Is it mm-hmm. good? Is it bad? Asa dapit ang nai dili maayo? Because, um, you know, I understand that this is 330 kilometers per charging. Yes. And I have tested it for the last two days. And yeah, it's working well so far because I haven't uh, charged it yet. Mm. Smooth <laughs> raka ayo, no? so far. Very smooth. How's no? the ride? How's the, the um, power? I, I noticed that there is somewhat difference between an echo mode and not echo. Yeah. Because if it's not echo, it's so smooth. Murag maglutaw siya, mm. but for echo, kuwan siya gamay na ah, siya ay... Kung magtipid. Have yeah, you tried the ka. e-pedal feature? Um, Mura na siya mabamp car That's correct. Mode, no? Yeah, but I don't use normally because the moment magud mabuhian ako ang pedal, mustap siya dalit. Uh, <laughs> this is something uh, medyo wap pa- kumanad. <laughs> that's correct. Yeah, but yeah, it yeah. takes some getting used to. Yes, yes. I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to do what I can kung unsa gay makita. No? I, uh, I also notice nga na ay car da pit sa ako kilid mm. mo signal siya yeah. <laughs> okay so so far very enjoyable so far very enjoyable that's correct so wala pag yung ko nakagastog uh, charging yeah. gikan sa in, sa charging station sa Birama because I understand nga um, 30 minutes lang yes. there is sa ato is charging station actually 40 minutes to among fast charging ah, okay 40 minutes so yeah. it's located at our branch in Biram yeah. and Talisay. Mm-hmm. And naasay take home charger katong yes. we showed you. But that takes longer. Yes, That's correct. about yeah. 12 to 16 hours. Yeah. But whether na overnight. No? Yeah, but I, na, I, I talked to the technician according to the guy. Um, Kachars lagi hapon ko, bisan ang battery, dili, dili siya kanang drain yun ba? So th- there's no problem. I can charge it within the next um, yeah eight hours because I have the solar panels. Mm. So the solar panels actually charge my the, the yeah. vehicle. So, so technically, it's free. Technically, it's free. It's no? free. That's correct. From the sun. From the sun. That's why right. it's powered by the sun. <laughs> Indicate. Yeah. But yeah, very resourceful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're here at Eco House, no? This is my second time here mm. actually, and. Dako said ni na area and maybe you can take us how you began, how mm-hmm. you conceptualized mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, the, um, the I understand this is the first and only in the Philippines and you came up with it. Yeah. So, sa imo hajud ng utok tanan yes. and your brilliance. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Wow. Well, the area is um it's 7000 square meters and it houses a lot of initiatives for 
I would say environmental protection and first I would I would uh, since an, um, I am an electrical engineer akong iunahon ang solar panels no um when we started uh, the house in 2001 well it's basically substantially finished in 2005 and 6 so we were here by that time and right after that I started to put the solar panels mm. because during the time ang mga tao dili pa kay sila ganahan because it's very expensive before for for one watt it's about a dollar so may no, ang challenge no kanang reluctance uh, even yes. with the cars there's still skepticism ba that's correct yeah if like ma sustain ba sustain or ba, yes. si mapagnan sila ni magka problema sa after sales mao so. good yeah so that's why um considering na tanaw na ako nga this is the future no so ako yung naghimo jud ko solar panels or butang solar panels and it was very expensive no sa ka panel nga 100 watts so it's, it costs you about well 100 100 dollars that's um, times 50 so that's 25,000 kada usa mahal kayo for that time that was quite a bold move no that, since that, you were the first yeah and maybe people questioned if sakto ba na imong decision or, mm, yeah. or sustainable mm. ba but somehow you saw that vision na that's the way of yes, the future yes yes because um, sa akong pagtan-aw good mike ang solar technology mag-anam ka saka mag-anam gyud siya mm. kabarato and at the same time mag-anam sad ka mahal gyud ang gasolina because wala og naa man gani gasolina na nao gamay ra kayo but ang iyang increase sa taas mm. so kayo so that's why i can ako yung ma tanaw nga ang kaning solar panel mao gini i think one of the future generation uh, power ge- uh, generation so nagbutang ko ani and then it was well it was very expensive and i understand that when it works it was only for for a short time kay i have only the duha ka 200 watts so basically uh, uh, duha ka 100 watts we have 200 watts at all so magamit lang na ko og electrical uh, lights no and there was no connection to the grid but eventually I guess in 2009 I was able to connect with Veco and Veco was you know trying to look at the possibility of you know um, mag, mag, mag collaborate and Veco installed some equipment here and it realized mm-hmm. that I think this is okay because ang Veco get require mga good sa um, DOE na uh, at certain power nga ilang distribute maghatag gid sila makuha sila ng power gikan sa renewable energy so in that uh, aspect that's why nag collaborate me and after a few months Verco uh, installed a what we call as a net meter din mm. sa balay so well the net meter is a meter that can read the power that's coming from the sun at the same time the meter that's coming from Verco line maunay nang hitabo now so right now um uh, I have two solar panels system that's um, that's this is the first solar mm. and this is the second actually because the first moment on duha ka 100 watt but this is a bigger one uh, 36 ni siya kabuok panels and yeah so it it is more or less from 10000 watts and <coughs> this is actually um a DC from the, the solar panel it's DC and then you will have an inverter actually then um, that was a stand alone so ang, ang inverter na ko mo yung og power now later mo itong pag sood sa Verco mo na itong naanami what we call as a tie grid no? at the same time kung nag-generate ko ang akong power akong gigamit so during the night kung wala ako power sa battery I'm going to use the Verco power so that's the first the solar system the second item nga akong gitanaw is the waste because um, sa Cebu City mga good mike there are about 800 to a million people per day yeah. now ang normal yun ana nga generation sa garbage kada tao gamay og dagko it's a average of you know half a kilo a day so more or less we have about a minimum of 500,000 kilos of garbage a day now sa market alone sa carbon market I understand that there's about 60 tons, 60,000 kilos. 
So what I did, karon ko makatabang and I was having a program before in 2004 na kwarta sa basura. Uh, so ang kwarta sa pusu- utilize, oh, diba, ang mga basura reduce, instead of reuse recycle. That's correct. Instead of imong ilabay, so I I I don't I don't recognize uh, garbage as garbage. It's basically a resource. So ang ang garbage lang kadaghanan sa tao na ilang gitan nga di magamit. But in, so in, all sorts of garbage. Yes, like, I, diba, mga soft drink cans. Yes, uh, yes. Tanan good, oh. Tanan good. Yeah. So we have this we have this uh, you know program we call as Kwarta sa Basura in Barangay Luz. We started that there. And in Sideri sa house para gyud ma na ko. Um, well I I have a I have a uh, battery operated tricycle kuha ko sa garbage about 3,000 kilos a day yeah, ako ni siyang desegregate then tapang man ko yung drink how do you segregate? different um, ka ng biodegradable yes so magkuha lang ko sa market no kanang wait nakuha na siya kanang yeah. oh, combine mo na o oh, waste nga biodegradable mga plastic whatever kuha na na mo that on din he is, is, is segregate mm-hmm. ang katong biodegradable mga plastic styrofoam amo tong is red mm-hmm. Then I will show you later. Yeah. And then the shredded plastics. You can go around yeah. later. Ato nito yung. Uh, the shredded <laughs> plastics, the styrofoam, at amo nang gihimo, gimix na mo sa cemento o sun, amo gikompress para mahimong hollow blocks or mahimo siyang fibers. Okay? So, niya, during the time, wala pa yung pandemic, natay daghang goats din he. Niya, karun, amo nang gida sa probinsya kay wala namang gui during the time sa pandemic. Karun, napakay animals here. Um, or right now wala na kaayo dito sa among gidami kasi wala mong during sa pandemic wala yung makaatiman so ang amo lang na when we get the garbage among idiretsu sa mga so elect uh, as worms because we have what we call as a vermi composting so vermi, vermi is a worm no? uh, vermi is a worm niya ang katong ang waste among gipakaon sa sa worm niya ang mugawas mo tong vermi cast mo tong compost na katong Nindot kayo nga, nga soil, no? Na para magamit sa mga gardening. Now, the third is water. Now, sa dinhigod sa ato ang pagpuyo, eh, we have a life support system, no? Eh, which is basically the environment that, that composes the, well, the water, soil, air, and well, of course, the sunlight. Now, Din hi sa Cebu, Mike, or even the Philippines, ang atong rainfall is, nindot kayo, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, kada tuig. So, kung ato na yung sauron, maabot na ginana, kataas, kada, kada so tuig. So, you collect rainwater. Like so, din hi sa ato, um, ako <laughs> yun nang gi-collect ang rainwater. So, dasay, makita ni mo nga, kanil yung mga tanki na stilid mm-hmm. sa balay. Ito pikas na itangki po sa luyo na agya po itang so that the moment it rains amo ginang gikolekta so gamito na namo for watering the plants gamito na to para pag um, pag limpyo sa mga sakyanan and well naatay gamay nga swimming pool sa luyo so that's actually rain full water. of rain water so ang tanan nga water nga mag-uwan amo ginang ibuhos dito sa pool para mas stack na to ba and the other thing is kita siguro minimum pan at ay pan din hi may kunya yeah. pag sud gyud namo diri sa una it's sugar cane land so wa gyud too big so what we did is to excavate parts of that uh, area nya among gi some of the soil among ibutang sa kilid so the moment it rains upadong gyud didto ang uwan sa lagoon so we will have uh, a rain catchment so this na ay too big at magamit gihapon ay isda magamit gyapo na namo pag uh, water sa plants no that's number 3 now number 4 is you mentioned about recycling mm. uh, re, um um kanang reuse actually we use that here because sa concept man good sa environmental protection first is to refuse so when you get inside a store or grocery, possible magdagi kag imong kaugalingon nga well sudlanan. But uh, uban wala. So 
what you do supposed to be you refuse but wala man ka nagda kuha unto ni mong bag sa grocery niya when you go back to the grocery you reuse that plastic that's a concept so that when you reuse it then you are going to refuse the one nga yang igihatag and wa pa na in practice no um, layo, layo din pa hi pa sa atong siyudad na atay <laughs> ordinansa <laughs> yeah natay ordinansa nga iban na to ang plastic for two days karon na ako gi introduce nga kanang hingala na to og amendment nga at least additional na to another one day or two days so aron until such time ang mga tao maka realize na nga this is it I mean mao ni atong buhaton pero dili kayo abrupt so that's why two three days sa usa ka week wa gi plastic now ang uban nga mga because we are a construction company um, electrical kaning mga wire reels no kita ni mo ni na this is a wire reel nya instead of amo ning banggubon before amo ning gubon ilabay among gihimo og some furnitures yeah at least ma <laughs> magamit nimo so sa wire nya karon it's like a coffee table <laughs> coffee table oh. so <laughs> this kumakita ni ang mga tao at least makakita sila nga pwede di ay ni mm. and then well of course they might probably kanang sundo nila and this is something uh, maayo no now th- that's th- that's in terms of uh, recycling um, vermicomposting number 5 is actually using the vermicost the, the vermicompost into something that's that's useful mm. for gardening yeah. uh, so if we have that uh, vermicast already gamito ni namo para sa pag garden maghimo og kanang kanabitong what we call as a seedlings uh, every seeds that we can collect we sag asa mike ako gin ang i-collect and then pagahuman isuna muna sa plastic and then for that seed to grow yeah kung kinsay na ay mga ayo amo na siyang ihatag so we uh, we will show you the small nursery that we can that we have and then this ma- makita makita nato now the other thing is um Using water, that's number six. Number six is using water for, to, ra- to raise fish. And at the same time, using that water and uh, uh, fish waste to put to make a garden. Mm-hmm. We call that as a aquaphonics. So later, makita na doon, naghimuta o gusto ka ng gamay ng fish pan. So nais da. And at the Very same time, you... Very diverse no? Yeah. Nagtanan area sa yeah. palay na actually expertise. That's correct. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, ang ang pu sa isda gamiton sa mga vegetable para mo grow. So, well, ang ang gamit niya po ang rainwater para sa unang sa para sa isda. Where did you find the conviction day to start all this? Uh, you saw na marag, our planet marag depleting or you saw the environment na wala jud gi utilize properly um, sa mga tao? Did well, you see na it would be dangerous in the future. That's why you advocate for this? Yeah, because when I, mean, I started being a counselor, Mike, in 2001, um, ang akong yun nga committee is agriculture mm. because my father is a farmer. Now, when one counselor died, si George Rama, so na napuli ko sa iya sa environment, so I realized that there's something that is related to um, environment and, of course, the agriculture thing. Mm. Now, as I go further, uh, knowledge na ko na ng hitabo na realize nga usa sa usa sa sakit sa kung papa nga sa lungs, mo tong too much use of what we call as mm. chemicals. So partly tungod sa sa death sa ina. Yes, papa, that's correct. So na it Nakita really has na, oh, a harmful effect. Yes, sa sa what we call as the chemicals. Yeah. And as I go further, sinanaman ko sa environment, I realize nga this. There's a lot of things that uh, people do not see because right me sa ako gani being a counselor wa man gani dayon ko makakita ana. So nakita dayon na nako na naman ko sa city government and I know really na na problema we have problem of garbage. So there was even a time nga ang IBP the Integrated Bar of the Philippines mga lawyers ipadadag suwat si Mayor Tommy nga ug dili ni nimo buhaton <laughs> we will have to so you no so that's why kita na to nga muni dag kanday kay dag problema about about garbage and in fact garbage is something 
a is a resource wa, wa na to na magamit so that's why we is, reuse, no? wa na to na magamit yes there's no value people do not do not um uh, do not realize that garbage is a resource mm. so that's why in in the, in this facility uh, i'm trying to prove that garbage is not garbage yeah. it's a it's a something that is not act that is not that is not used by people but for us na makasabot nga ang idea ni gamiton uh, mauna nga gigamit na to like huh? sa average garbage how many percentage man ang ma-reuse an okay now because i don't think tanan sa jud ma dili gyud sakto gyud ka ang pag segregate mm. sa like atong garbage din he sa Cebu in fact in in the Philippines if you have uh 100 percent of garbage nga tanan good no mixed waste normally 50 to 60 percent ana mike is what we call as biodegradable mao na siyang malata yeah yeah kanan siyang malata mao ning uh, value um, garbage sad nga mabaho mm-hmm. okay now mao sad ni ganaghanan sa garbage nga mga tawo di ganahan because well of course mabaho siya yeah, unya daghang langa ug di ni nato ma-manage so mao ni kinadakan mga sakit Da no, say, the moment get, you will have this, well, the like mo ma, ma treat, na, yeah, mo na maka generate siya, or, well, smell, yeah, then you will have this, you know, insects nga mga motunga, and then mo na dahi mo carry sa mga, of course, sa mga, sa mga yeah, diseases. diseases, no? So, 60% of that is what we call as biodegradable malata. Now, 20%, okay, mo ning hingala na to ato pang ma-reuse. Okay? Another 20 to 15% mauna nga na itong residuals. Kaning residuals, Mike, mauna ning mga garbage nga dili wa pa technology ang atong, well, of course, din sa Pilipinas nga ato ning magamit like kaning labay nga mga diapers. So, wa, wa good ka ayun niya. Ang mix mag good niya o kanang biodegradable o katong plastic. Oh yeah, money. These are things nga at nya kaning mga battery, kaning mga fluorescent lamp nga nang mga kanabitaw nga daot na. Kay mao ni sila mga toxic waste good. So din hi sa Pilipinas wala pa gyud tay mo process ana. Mao ni kuwang kay nato sa Pilipinas. But in first world countries na ana. Na, 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 na sila. Na, That's na, correct. Sila. In fact, wao na, na nila ang mga battery onya na i certain you know na i certain chemicals nga ilang i kwaon balik aron ilang ma-reuse now for electronics which is part of the 20% but pa na in development here sa atin oh uh, there are some studies nga mga equipment nga dadon nila diri unsay 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 return of investment by but dako man god mahal that's why nga kaning mga kompanya like Mepsa nga gi require gyud na sila sa ISO nga kinangla na sila ang ilang waste na agad sila facility nga ma, mahatagan ang uban nilang mga waste dadun gina nila sa Singapore sa Hong Kong para ma-certified nga ang inyang waste wa nila gilabay din eh. so pero sa kanang mga dagko nga mga companies now going back to the mga mga waste nga akong giingon nga electronic aning mga battery so kaning mga hindi na yun magamit mo ng 20% nga residuals mm-hmm. now we hope that there would now be a technology unta dere sa Pilipinas nga ato ni silang ma ah uh, if only we have um, an executive like for example a mayor that is actually focused on these things we can always get that because it's not that expensive or do expensive but well kung imong imong i- equate to something uh, Mugawas health sa mga tao like for example a battery malabay na nimong usa ka gamay nga battery it can contaminate millions of gallons of water yeah, diba for as, sure of course makahatag mo balik na nimo hatag na nimo sakit because it, you know, if the city has the well we have we have the if the city has the focus on trying to eliminate this or minimize this waste so that it cannot go back to the citizenry nindot kayo na siya now, going back here, considering na ang daghan kayo ang biodegradable, ang atong gihimo is collect the biodegradable too with the, with, the, with the recyclables and then manage it. Okay? 
Now, at the same time, you have these recyclables or di ba ang katong magamit pang mga mga plastics na himuon na mo og hollow blocks. So, at least nakita sa mga tao nga, well, pwede din ay ni mahimo. So, from plastic, it can be become hollow block. That's correct. Now, I, I will show you that later. Yeah. Nakita na nato. So, same type of hollow block. It's not any inferior to the usual hollow block. Um, well, in terms the, of the, this hollow, the, the, the quality of the, the hollow block. Well, it depends, Mike. When you have, when you say about quality, for certain buildings na tag-as kayo, you will have that class A hollow blocks. Oh, Yun, at nga, lig on tayo sa kayo. But for the hollow blocks nga, gamito na ni mo sa single story, niya wall ra na, niya butangan pag finishing, I, I think that's good enough. At least magamit yeah. kayo. Bang mga uh, nation, ana, like Mexico, gigamit man na nila. There is ato, there are some organizations which are doing that, but wala pag yun kayo na siya na mainstream. But there is ato, kung naamang gani, let's say for example, Sonog, yeah, mga pobre yung mga itag-iya. So, they can come to here in the Echo House and we will provide the materials. Matabang lang sila pag himo. Uh-huh. Then, we will give them the, the hollow blocks. You came up with this machine yourself or was this uh, Um We started in? a very and how crude... how many of these machines are present around the Philippines? Daghan, baging ang mm, here, in, here in Cebu, I, I, I think there are some but diwajid ko kaibaw kung kinsan ni sila. Ang ako lang, when we started it, naghimi mi gamay nga favors kanang inana bitaw. Mm. Nya among gimanumano, then it works. So, I made some, you know, research kung unsay <laughs> mahimo nato nga mo automatic unta. So, we, we were able to come up with the machine nga sa so China unya di man pareha ang voltage, di mariha ang frequency. Mm. At being, being an electrical engineer, na, na come up na mo certain, you know, na, na among na rewind unya Morning ni gawas karon. Oh. So in that in that machine we were able to prove that this plastics, this glass, the styrofoam can be can be From used. Say origin and in machine. Ah, uh, China. China. Oh, uh-huh. that's correct, okay. China. Uh-huh. So it was brought. Here. Yeah, mungi dadere and then giassemble and when we started it maglisod mi kay di man di man mi kasabot. Antod na. But eventually we were able to, you know, with adapted. some friends, oh. Yeah. We were able to make it work. Yeah, it's really working. Uh-oh. If I may ask, like, how many politicians uh, around Philippines or Cebu can mga mo advocate yun ba sa environment? Because the, the, there are uh, examples such uh, as yourself, but uh-uh. I don't hear as much ba na politicians who are as mm. firm and as uh, strong on this issue. Yeah, there you. are there are a lot nah, Mike. Now and all the thing is um like for example we go on it's greening. So there are some politicians nga they will just go on greening kaning pananom o di ba mo na ilang focus. But there are some politicians nga ilang focus is what we call as solid waste, no? Kaning garbage. So uh, mo ning ilang focus. But in in, in our case, more holistic man good ang atong gihimo. And one good thing is that when we... So, lain-lain of focus. Oh, lain of focus. <laughs> that is, ato, eh, good enough nga ang being a counselor and a, also a businessman, good enough nga ang akong company ni Tabang said nako para pag, you know, pag realize ani nga, nga projects. Uh-uh. So, but I think ang challenge lang, jud, as I mentioned before, mm-hmm. kay kanang, if it's aligned jud ba, with reality, if mm-hmm. it's realistic, mm-hmm. Because I think some environmentalists are medyo, uh, so, medyo out of touch ba that's, that's correct. Yeah. having an actual solution mm. to long-term issues. Like, that's, is it sustainable? Yeah, that's and correct. Yeah. That's the main challenge. Th- that is the reason nga uh, naghimog yun ko ani because some, some show you know, that it works. Th- that it works. Yeah. Like, that's what I said before. Mm. Na, ang mm. Kining Eco House mm. is a prime example that it can really work that's correct but i told you last time kay how do we marag, expand get it out there expand yes. it oh, since yes. this is just oh, one house that's yeah. correct even yeah. until now mm-hmm. like years after mm-hmm. marag, there's been very few houses like this mm-hmm. around the philippines so um, how do we get the message across and really aim towards collective sustainability for the last for the last let's say 10 years there's so many people coming here like the barangay captains. Ah, mo take notes. Mo take like, ah, sila, but um, there are some barangay captains na ilang focus 
like uh, for example itong mga barangay captains na dito sa probinsya ay lang focus is more of kana uh, what we call as composting and gardening mm -hmm. which is good enough oh di ba it there might be na some areas na oh, all nga, nila na oh, kopya tan na yeah nya na sa uban nga mga barangays or let's say LGU nga instead of gamit nila ang kanang yung sodium lights nga coming from the grid naghimo sila nga la na to og kanang mix ba mm -hmm. na sila ay yeah. solar yeah, at the same time na sa sila ay what we call as the uh, kanang distribution uh, electric lighting gikan sa gikan gyud sa grid so at least malipay lang ka because there are some you know nga ilang nakita nga magamit so na sa mga LGU sang ilang kita na is nindot ning urban gardening so na sila ay na apply na sila ay apply all. not not all uh, yeah ang ako gyud unta if the mayor in a certain LGU is focused on this environmental issues kanang nindot gyud unta kayo kay gikan sa waste hangtod paggamit sa tubig or pag cut sa rainwater niya paggamit sa electricity okay o niya pag greening so this is something uh, nindot yud kayo gyud no nga um, uh, utilize lang unta ang yes. resources oh there was even a in in 2010 mo tong last nako sa 3 years uh, three terms nako kay kada term uh tuluran man katuig yeah we are only allowed to run three terms uh, there was this time nga maghimo ko og ana na ko og gamay nga privilege speech nga kanang uh mo na mo 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 well i'm thanking the council nga na human nga akong term nya yeah, for the for the you know camaraderie and for the knowledge or whatever yung pangutan ako nila nga kung unsa pa may unta wa matrabaho nimo kung ikaw pa pagbutol inana ko sila nga if only i have the means i'm going to plant all the common areas or the parks of the city edible plants like for example ana sa dan din ha sa padung sa puente di mo nang tao mo na nog nangka kuya banno nya tunga tunga kamunggay and all those pag after good 3 or 4 years mamunga na wala mike Yeah. Yeah, we slow. That's well, that's not a good idea. Kawaton man. Ko pwede ra mangani butangan og pwede kawaton. You can Pwede ra sad. Pwede na nimo kwaon, di ba? Yes. And can you just imagine nga naa na din hang tanan nga well, it might be uh mamunga na, it might be ilang kwaon, but so what, di ba? So as long as we have abundance of food and then para na ko this is this is a city or an, an LGU which is good push kuang ano lang no? yun siguro then the only thing is ang mayor mang good sa usaka LGU local government units mo mangoy nagda sa kuang gid ba murag siya mo ay kapitan mm -hmm. kung barko pa so kung unsay iyang focus mo gid nay murag mo gawas nga masuportaan yeah. if appeal ba sa list of priorities yes that's correct so food para na ko which is in line with the environment for me that's the best one good kanang direction bisan gani sa pilipinas mo gyud ay para nako nga the best nga atong gitanaw for going back to kining eco house uh, how much do you save compared to let's say if this were a normal mm. household like pila man jud ang main difference okay. but i understand you have to invest quite a lot sa solar panels mm. so bugat bugat to pag invest that's initially. correct ah uh. But the goal is, of course, to save in the long run that it's sustainable. It's, yeah, that's yeah. that's the idea. Okay, when mm -hmm. we started that in 2003, well, what did you realize? Nga makakinanglan kasib ko ng dako, because I understand nga mahal pa kayo ang solar panel. But as of the moment, Mike, if you are going, when we started it again, it's ang usak ka panel basically makapalit na 25,000, no? Karo na usak ka panel, you can even buy it by 6,000. So, or five. Nibarato, ang nibarato solar. kaya siya. But solar panels in general, has there been enhancements like or similar, same rajud siya? Uh, there are some like enhancements. Like nabay mas no? kanang kuha na solar panel mas high tech na or mm. mas, mas Ang iyang, we call that pa. as efficiency. Yeah, more and So, more ang iyang efficiency solar. karun mas taas na i-compare sa una. O mas barato. Oh, mas barato na sad. Okay. Now, uh, this is the rule of thumb kung 
kanang mauni imong gitanaw nga magbutang ka magpanel. Kung upalit ka o usa ka system nga hingalan na 1000 watts, okay? And the rule of thumb ana karon mo gasto ka og 50 to 80,000. Depende sa imong structure kayo. Ang imong balay ready na, na nga butangan og solar panel na lang nagatubang na siya sa south, gamay na ka gasto. Right? But if you have uh, uh, a house nga dili ang orientation nila dili mao because what you do is ang imong orientation padung yun sa south ang imong nagatubang imong panel kay let's say that is yeah. this is the south diri man ang east so pag sugod mo igo sa adlaw pag padung sa subos mo igo gihapon sa adlaw di ba now kung ang imong system mas gamay ang imong house ready na probably you have 50,000 to 60,000 per kilowatt mm. now ang savings ni mo ana Mike is about 1,000 pesos also Okay? So, kung imo ng computer, it might be, it will end up about 4 to 5 years. And that return of investment is good enough for business. Nakuha niyo? So, mugawas nga uh, sustainable good na siya in the future. Yeah. No? Mo na'y, mo na'y nakanindot. Because, because as, as again, mag-anam kamahal ang atong electricity, of course, uh, ang atong kung na natay solar panel maganam sad kagamay ang atong bayranan kay na na imo na save man nimo ang some some you know some um, the kilowatt nga imong na generate okay sa kung pulos na kagikan sa utility yeah. mm-hmm. i think the challenge lang is taking that leap ba on yes a yes ma okay na oh kanang mm. kanang ma get the message out mm. there to the community yeah. because now it's really not a priority ni ang uban duha duha pa Um, the is, best good nga maka kuan gyud ani so micro really kaning making that jump. Yeah, the jump should start from the big companies. Because if you are a, a company nga dako kayo ka og gasto sa elektrisidad, nga dako ang imong roof area yeah. like SM like Robinsons katong mga dagko nga company, it's worth good. It's worth good. Now, ang kaning mga balay, siguro kaning mga balay sa mga kanang middle ga down Uh, dili pa kayo sila kinahanglan ana because di pa man sad kay dako ang ilang magamit nga kuryente but for the houses which have so many you know air conditioning units especially during the day Mike no kana mga kay ang adlaw na ara man gyud sa adlaw, no the best good nga makabutang sila ana and it certainly will uh, will you know will return in the next few years in fact there are some company, companies before nga kung na kay certain Uh, you know, company niya nagbayad og dako ilang instulan okay ang savings to nga mm. oh, we, there are some companies companies are doing that so they already see na marag it's bearing fruit for them yes yeah they oh. see the value they see the value <laughs> so ingon ang mga solar installer okay kung naa kay gibayran nga 100,000 then we are going to reduce that into a certain let us 50,000 na lang okay so instead of paying Uh, 100,000 okay pay na lang kag 50,000 but the savings nga 50,000 amo na itong sabutan mm. oh di ba yeah okay going back to garbage kumusta man ang garbage situation karon sa siyudad is um, it getting worse is it under control is for it me utilized? it's getting it's getting worse because you can see in the budget um, last 2021 mike ang atong budget sa garbage collection and management is 400 million in 6 months lang. So, grabe kadako uh, ang atong garbage management. Grabe. Because right now, uh, naingon, supposed to be, ang atong garbage lang nga uh, ma-generate, naingon sila nga, ang akong pagtanaw is only 500,000. Uh, yeah, sa mga report sa DPS, muabot man siya 1,000 a day. So giyon sa na I cannot understand din gikan na nga garbage. Oh, so but this is something that we we need to look into. Kay ang karon man good ang process nga gihimo nato is we are encouraging people to do more waste kay ang naitabo himo kag waste diha ni amo ra man ang kwaon. Kunya ang nakakwarta ang mga contractor because we're paying the contractor 
1,000 to 1,200 per ton just to throw the garbage. Mm. Di ba? So, iyan lang pick up on, ilabay, nyabay na nato siya na. Hindi pa rin sa una, during that time ni, 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 ni Tommy na uh, naatay segregation. Okay. There was a time also the mayor ni, ni Mike Rama na naagyapon to siya yung segregation. But karon wala yung segregation, wala ta mutuman o gunsay angay ni humuon. Ano na discontinue? Uh, well, it's a policy of the executive, uh, Mike. So, sigali, umaon na ingon ang executive niya. Sige, why segregation? Sige lang mo o kuha, sige taglabay. Mauna nga, mauna nga karon dag ko kayo tagasto because we're not doing uh, this kind of, you know, management kay nagsigir man tagkuha nagsigir daw niya sige glabay wala man tay hingala na to og segregation what about kini atong mga oceans rivers kay i understand na to time rag hugaw sa kay atong mga mga rivers mm-hmm. oceans Ka- kani <laughs> um maogyud ni usas pinakadako nga problema karon gi atong mga to mike because ang tanan nga ways nga naa within the river area o padung gina dito sa atong sa atong yung sa oceans mm. yeah, ang kaning atong mga you know, ang atong mga uh, you know, fish, whatever naa dito, makakaon man na sila sa kanang, yeah. kanang mga plastics makakaon yeah, makakaon sa tas isda so, <laughs> so it's, it's going back to us so that's why um, huwag naa lang yun untay political will ang atong gobyerno Kay makita manggod ni mo ang atong river manggod pulos na naitaw Mike nya mag, magtukod na ganig usa ka building small building ang usa ka say ang nag-occupy mo expand na padung dito sa sapa nya in fact makita ni mo ang sapa gamay na lang kaayo mm-hmm. and oh, take note that all the ways basically is thrown to the river now, kung kung matuman lang gyud unta na to ang balaod nga na ay certain easement like 6 meters from you know from the river banks. Hindot gyud unta kayo na. Kay aron of course ang atong river mao bi na atong tinugdan sa atong tubig gyud Mike, no? So kung mahimo lang gyud unta, then ato nang <laughs> ato gyud nang ibur kay padung og gina didto. Unya, tungod sa kagamay sa atong sapa, nag-clog up na while limpyo limpyo inig-uwa na ang overflow. Then pag overflow, mag-flooding. So again, magsugod na sa taglaing problema which is flooding and then mauna na ang fugaw ng siyudad. Yan, mabagalik pa doon na to, sakit na po. So muna, mabalik-balik ang problema. I think ang challenge kay people aren't, wala pa kayo ng conviction ba to fight for these things. So how do we relay that message to, especially to the youth, to this new generation? to care about you know, these things like garbage disposal, oh. uh, waste management, eco-sustainability. In, kaning mga energy, waste management, my energy conservation, yeah. energy, ev- everything sa akong gitanaw, na natay mga balaod ani, natay na mga ano. legislations. So it's out there. It's, it's out there. Involved. The only thing is to, you know, to execute it. Nya na manggoy time which is kita anad mangutang mga Pinoy nga naa ganay tayo sa ka programa uh, ato ning buhaton but in the next few months mo die down so makita na nimo oh may lang ka sugod makita na nimo ang jay walking sige grabe kayo ang atong drive na magdapat ag press one skill sa sa daan no so okay na kayo mga tao kuha na kanang nisunod na in the next few months ni die down kay wala na wala na ini ni imposar wala na gitan aw ang balaod wala na nila gi para gi execute wala na mubalik na sad the same way with waste management sa una na atay area nga uh, antog yun kalabayan unya kinahanglan pick up on at certain times so diligent yeah. ma follow through di ma follow through so <laughs> mo na ang mga tao nga no mang magsegregate ko nga inikuha sa mga waste collector gisagol ra man ang waste okay. the way i see it mga collective issue man good ni mm. it requires a lot of people to get yes, involved it's correct. very hard to do like if you care if you're doing your part isa ra man ka mm, mm. ka so diligent ma implement yes. fully uh, we, we started this by kaning uh, 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 solid waste management niya uh, kanang ang tanan gyud nga barangay na involved Mm. Yeah, na, na himo na ni nato before 
Pero mo lang paglain naman good nga kanang administration dili na sad man follow. Mausab usab man dipindi unsay asa kusog ang hangin o unsay focus niya ba. Unya sometimes sa atong mga politicians ug unsay uh, ni trabaho before unya la imo ni nagda uh, dili nila <laughs> gamiton. But that's what I noticed with politics if hmm. unsay kanang mga projects sa present administration mm-hmm. even if, if it's doing well. Mm. I reverse lang just to oppose because of polit- politics. Yes. Yeah. So it's a political agenda, not necessarily kanang unsay maayo, unsay mm. sakto. Balihon lang. Mm. Maybe to make the previous look bad or naingana ba? Yeah, yeah base, <laughs> no? Ito kabuang sa nastaw, no? Ang kanang human nature. To, yes. Yeah. <laughs> to look good. And, uh, Una nga, dini sa ato, wala manggoy tayo general plan nagitan aw for the next few years mm-hmm. ang ato murag yearly oh, three years na so because short term oh, short term ka kayo ba oh sustainable action wow, plan yun. na implement uh, that like, people are actively uh, practicing that's correct doing. Right, like for example in 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 um, kaning flooding no drainage problems sa ciudad during the time pagsugod nako 2001 nana tay drainage master plan mm. But the floods kept getting worse That's correct. in recent years. Oh. I remember katong na yung mga typhoon. Yun. Yeah. Kining AS42 mm. na baha tsuka yun. Tung- tungod man ni Good Mike nga piecemeal ang atong gipang himo. Dili ba siya bitaw overall? Mm. Na, like for example, we have a, in the city, we will have a general drainage plan for the next 10 years. Dili man na masunod. So that's why, na, for example, ang Usaka Barangay, na ay flooding niya dool siya sa mayor ingon siya mayor maghimo ko og drainage program ako ni padaka na kong imburnal so tagaan siya kwarta sa mayor ang kanang iya di ang imburnal iyang ilisan og dako pero ang nitabo dinhi sa iyang barangay ni dako ang imburnal pero katong barangay nag sunod niya gamay man so ang problema to ana sa didto mm. yeah Dili siya holistic. Dili siya holistic. Dili tanan mo lagi pasar. Oh, iya bang, ang iya, siniguro na ning ako. Anyway, mo rin area. Ako rin may gitagaan sa mayor. Dili mo lagi pasas. Oh, mo lagi gawas. Nga tuwa din to ang sunod ng problem. Oras kung general pagyod, ang gitanaw sa, let us say, sa executive nga holistic, so mo ni butangan ni mo budget overall niya, usara nga programa. Dili nga piece by piece. No? So how would you address that kay para na ko murag cultural mangud siya murag mindset mm. sa uh, sa mga tao jud ba kailangan mo usab niya especially karon na na pandemic ang tao ilang priority kay of course health income mm. Mm. so murag ma this will be at the bottom of the list na ang environment kasi mangunay man sila sa unsay mas priority food security or kanang paying the bills on time and yeah maybe yeah, you know, my household stuff uh, Cebu like City, Cebu City has a lot of money. And for the last ten years, we have so much money. The only thing is, para na ko wala din na mamani sa kayo ang atong kwarta. That's what I hear. That mm. Cebu, daghan, the money is there, yes. but it's how the money is used. This, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> so only if we have um, a leadership executive nga magkahiusa. Uh, sa legislative when you, you will have that plan nga murag ko kaysa ba kada bitong murag holistic holistic nga everyone is united yes oh nya kana inclusive ba tanan gyud dili ra ka barangay captain nga imong amigo mo imong imong konsultahon o kinanglan tanan gyud but given human nature mao man jud na kanang divided na yung mga different groups na Mahog, rag opposing forces. Um, How do we combat challenges? Ang ako na gitan ang mic, o kinsa ang tao nga naa sa If executive. Oh, no? Sa makayunify. Maugin na siya. Kanya, ang iya sang direction, tanag yung klaro, transparent yun ba? Kay, ang nangita mo manggod karon is dili manggod na transparent. O kung say atong himuon, kanang dili ka ng orag tagu-taguon ni mo ba? Okay. Na different agenda. Oh, na ay, na siguro in ana in a way because ato lang ganing pag-spend sa budget for the last years like the 4.5 billion <laughs> uh, funds ko COVID wa pa magita ka accounting ana. Mm. Can just imagine buying rice of 900 million to 
to 1 billion diba? so these are these are the kind of spending uh, maglisod ng sabot mm-hmm. yeah I think it's a matter of not letting these things go to waste yes the budget, yeah the funds the, yeah the only for me the best is if you can have an, an executive which is good very good that the direction is not only on spending on you know help but holistic good because uh, this the, these uh, issues are interconnected mm-hmm. so ingon kang drainage it's really also part of the health system because kung drainage ni mo bati ubalit lagi ako na sa mga katauhan naaray ka ng ripple effect yes, or somehow it comes back to bite us back y- yes if that's we correct. do not kanang if we abdicate certain mm. obligations mm. responsibilities mm. Murag, for example, if ang imong sakyanan wa nimo gipa-maintain nang Yes, yeah, time yeah. will come. Time will come nga mudik na mo dagan. Di na mo andar. Yeah. Ikaw ra. Ikaw so ra mo balik with with how yeah. we utilize kini atong resources, oh, resources oh. for our world. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So nga kung ginunta nga if we have kani mga youth na to karon which is labing daghan ni sila ba maka maka realize ni sila nga the thing that we're doing today is the one that will affect them in the future maugid unta ni atong makuan ba ma-educate ang atong mga kabataan kay kanigong mga politicians ato man silang ma-educate but sige man tang doctor din nila himuon so dili mao ni kuan but i think ang politicians or these leaders i think intellectually naara man sila mm-hmm. capability mm-hmm. competence but it's really more of ang agenda yeah the agenda and the actions and the na action. ilang mo on oh. i think in terms of of uh credentials mm-hmm. they have it mm-hmm. it's just what they do with mm-hmm. it or unsay maglabaw sa, <laughs> sa motives yeah yeah okay yeah. and so, well i think i have mentioned about six or seven uh things that we could probably do more in, in environment and probably i could probably also you know state um the 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 energy consumed in a certain house is dependent of how the house is being built mm. for example my kaning usas kinadakan nga atong bayranan sa kuryente is more of kanang air conditioning so makita nimo nga ang usa ka air conditioning nga one horsepower mo gasto gyud kag more than 10 to 14 pesos per hour. Yeah. So kung meaning to say ang imong balay per ting inita, ganahan jud ka mabug now. Oh, so now, one jud na. <laughs> one very important thing uh, people should realize that the biggest source of um high temperature in the house kaning kainiton is the roof. Roof. Roof ba imong imo bang imong atop. Mm. Now, we understand from science that a uh, white color reflects heat. Mm. Yang i-reflect mo banda. Mas may puti. Kaya oh. mas init if oh. it's another Kung color. color like, kadaghanan sa color na ito may green, blue, uh, brown, red. Uh. Oh, na'y brown. These are the colors that absorbs heat. So mas mo init. Mo init yun siya pagayo. I don't people no? realize that. Oh, yeah, that's correct because 90% of the houses sa atong mga balay, hinumdum ka nga, pulos-pulos green. Yeah, there was this in I think in 2001, katong na ay hinumdum ka na ay kanang Asian Summit sa Cebu. Mm. Nga ang kaning, kanang mga balay din ha, sa bridge, gipintalan nila o green tanan. <laughs> Dag kayo nasakit na ito, Mike. Na, Judain. Pero tingin inita man ni Samut. <laughs> <laughs> Pero atong gi green, parang doot o niya, pareho tanahon. Para aesthetics na ito. Aesthetics, di ba? But oh, dili na ay disadvantage sa mga tao. Now, in the house, that's why makita ni mo ang roof na ako, Mike, mm. white kidney white. or either beige. Because, again, 40 to 60% of the heat inside the house is coming from the roof. So, di ko kasabot, ato na mining nestorihan sa episode yeah, na to, yeah. nga atong gi butangan o, well, dark colors ang atong roof without even knowing nga atong gi painit ang balay. Mm. Pag painit sa balay, Butang kag aircon. Kung magbutang kag aircon, mataas ang imong elektrisidad. Na pagbutang ni mong aircon, ibutang sa dimos pinakabugnaw. Oh, katod yung 16, 17, setting. no, maximum setting. 
Pag abot ni mo sa pinakabugnaw, 30 na sa bugnaw, ah, maghabol na po ka. Sa paghabol ni mo, dako kayong, well, habol na, bagga ka ba ng habol na to, niya, of course, gamit na sa, oh, comforter, <laughs> gamit na sa kagelitrosity, pag, you know, pag wash, pag gamit sa tubig, so everything is wasted. But sa ato, kitang Asian, ang ato is 24 degrees centigrade, ang ato nang ibutang sa 24, of course, dili ka maghabol siguro, di sa kamamaypay. Muna hinga lang na itong comfort cooling. Di ba? So, kita, makita na, ni mo nang atong mga, you know, mga ka- kaila din ha, nga magda sila jacket, sa init tayo, <laughs> kaya padong sila sa call center. So, sa call center, pwede mang bugnawa kayo. O, di ba? So, that's why, muna, di ka, di ta kasabot. No, in, in our case, din di sa balay, in as much as possible, we bring down the temperature inside the house so that dili na makamagamit o daghan nga electric fan or air conditioning units. Mm. So, mauna, ang among gimong, puti yun na among roof. The other thing, Mike, is kanang imong bintana. Yes. Kung ang imong bintana, wag yung kay bintana, di no. ka makasood ang Walay fresh air. Fresh air nga masood in and out, morning passive cooling. Kung wala, perting inita. Mm-hmm. So that's why, well, of course, the windows are very important also. Muunay, yeah. Muunay, yeah, I think it's good to get that message across out there. Yeah. <laughs> because many people, mag aesthetics ra ang form yes. na sa balay. Oh, yung yeah, color. Mm. Seeing the effects that mm. it really has. Yes. Oh. Na yeah. As simple as a color issue would have very, very w- big impact. effects sa im- yeah. oh sa imong uh, electricity bills. Yes. Okay. Yes. And the other thing is the ro- the orientation of the house. Mm. And we we know for a fact that ang imong house o ang imong ang sun is coming from the east. Mm. So to is fung so igana hadyo gana ang imong <laughs> east ka katuwang, no? Yeah. So that's why ang uban pag baala na lang way klaro ang ilang ang ilang sala or ang ilang bedroom to ang tubang sa west. Mo na perting inita. Mm. Na one way to correct it this, this one is west maning ako. West. Ako ining ibutan nga kahoy Mike. Kahoy. Oy, para mo <laughs> sakto sakto. Mo mo siya is one certain way of trying to minimize the heat that's coming from the sun. Yeah. So these are things nga mo ni feng shui but basically feng shui is common sense actually kung imong yeah, kumina. Like I think practical man. Oh, no, practical guys siya. Yeah. Um, whatever feng shui is uh, yeah, yeah. teaching, uh-huh. it's also based on common sense. Common sense. Dili ra kanang mga superstition. That's na, correct. Na oh. walay kanang substance. Wa wa siya meaning or, or why substance. Oh. Na said it means something. Yeah. yeah that's good. Uh, it's a calculated oh. uh, approach oh. in a way. Oh. Oh. Yeah, uh, the last thing is when you are going to have more, you know, windows, daghan kayo makasud nga kinang na to og light. Yeah, yeah. Daylight. So, natural, nakay daylight, natural. Natural air, natural light. Oh, mas less ang imong electricity gamit sa suga. Yeah, betong. <laughs> Sakto, betong. Oh. But marag ka na. I think out of touch most. Oh, common, wakayo. Once mong himo ka, balay, people. sige, basta pangwapo ka. Yeah, imong pintalan, no, mauni, imong gusto. And then, that's it. Nigawas nga, daghang kayo yung disadvantage. Yeah, sa aircon imo Mike, for an, a certain aircon nga imo like one, one kilowatt, or one horsepower, hmm. one ton, more or less, they're the same. Ang imong water, ana, duha ka, duha ka litro, kana oras. So, tagang kay kayong tubig magamit. Di ba? Yeah. So, then, we have, we have problems of water, so that's why, well, in, probably in buildings like, well, of course, in your sigurong building, kung makita na nimo aside from the, you know, rainwater catchment that you can do, itong mga aircon, you know, aircon, <laughs> nga nigawas ang tubig ba ikan sa aircon yeah. this is one thing that we could catch on too because we could use that for you know watering the plants I think we need more advocates like you for <laughs> yeah. I think kuwang man I think like you you're quite knowledge- knowledgeable about all these things but I think we lack <laughs> people educating ba we talked yeah. about education last time about yeah, I, 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 I may a lot of getting you know, that message you know, across um, we're seminars ngayon Anna, but mo lagi usay ang gugol ko like for example ang city hall nato no nang nang just to to let them know nga kinang lang tag rainwater catchment all these are things nga atong angay buhaton so sometimes dili man good mo mukuan gayon nila ba kinang na jud certain 
practice nga magkanam kadugay niya maganam sa ma- maanad na lang siya ba yeah. but i think ultimately we need to play our part no yeah. individually yes yes individual oh, responsibility oh. should be should override mm. uh, collective Mm-mm. like it starts within yes first. within yeah kay before we talk about large scale large issues, scale oh. We should set the example. First. I would also agree with that. So right. that's why, yeah, in in our my case, then let's say in your company, if you're going to practice that kind of, yeah. uh, you know, uh, water conservation, energy conservation. So at least sa imong showroom, nindut kaya musud ang musud ang life. I think if no? di nimo ma manage imong self, mm-hmm. how can you go about that's managing correct, yeah. others and bigger, yeah. uh, bigger uh, like companies, uh-huh. bigger. <laughs> Tasks. Yeah, yeah. So it starts with within. Within. I agree. Then once you set an example, then I then think that can naturally manifest itself yes, towards yes. others, mm-hmm. towards who you come in contact with. Mm-hmm. Then it's more natural ang pagkuan. Yes, yeah. Ang pagrelay yeah. na, na advocacy. Yeah. So the more we have people who can, like here, we could have this kind of, you know, talk. <laughs> then we could spread it, and people. Some people could probably get from there and then try to practice it. Yes. And this is something. So good enough that we have this kind of yeah, conversation it's, so it's that we could... It's a good platform. Yeah. <laughs> That's one good thing too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And maybe going back a bit into your personal journey, mm-hmm. your background. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe you can walk us through your... I understand you were an engineer. Mm-hmm. Electrical, no? Mm-hmm. Electrical yeah. engineer. Then you were a teacher. Then mm-hmm. you ventured into construction Mm-mm. and later politics <laughs> and also kining environmental advocacy yeah. nimo. so quite broad maybe yeah. you can walk us through it a bit on your life your <laughs> yeah the, okay the many ups and downs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah well uh, we're actually uh, from well from talamban but i was so born Cibuano in Jukka. yeah Cibuano Jutko. yeah i was born in sirao a mountain yeah, you, you uh, mountain barangay in the city and then um, my mother is from here, so ni moved me din he. Then I well I I have my elementary here, and in my high school I attended there in Abeliana National High School, and um, yeah in in college the University of San Carlos Technological Center. So I graduated 1979, and then um, 1979-80. And I took the board in 2000, uh, 1980. And then, so uh, wala pa ko apply ko sa San Carlos for a teaching job. Mm-hmm. So I was accepted in the math department, teaching math in 1980. But right after that, 1981, I was accepted sa electrical engineering. Okay. So in 2000, in 1995, I retired, no, 15 years because figured it's not enough. So started to venture electrical engineering. So, yeah, started my small so company. So, you started out poor in, when you were uh, yeah. starting your career. Y- yes, that's correct. So, well, uh, my, my salary in 2000, uh, 1995 when I retired is only 7,000 pesos. I started in 1980, 700. Mm. So, yeah, that's it. So, I have, I have already, I'm already married during that time. So... You married early, yeah, in your twenties. Nineteen, uh, yeah, nineteen, in nineteen eighty-three. Nineteen ninety-three. Then, um, so I had that um, feeling. Ah, di kuang yun, no? Kuang yun ang ako kuang yun actual, no? So I ventured to this electrical engineering thing. So yeah, good so you enough. Became yeah. quite successful yes. in this uh, electrical engineering field. Yes, and you. Uh, did well financially uh, yeah, for yourself. Yeah, because yeah, 1995, wala pa mga high-rise building, no? So, in 1998, nagsugod na tong Ayala. So, I, I was lucky enough to be part of that, uh, you know, contract, contractor nga na sa Ayala. And, um... Yeah, because mga to ako na kitaan lagi na you're one of the richest and public <laughs> officials. Okay. Yeah, in 1998, I... 97, I ran for a barangay... You know, in 1996, I ran for a barangay captain here, Talamban, but I no, I was not able to make it. 97, lansar ko pagkakunsihal sa siyudad. 
ano sa barangay. So this was all mm. like through hard work. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's really hard work, and, and oh. smarts also. <laughs> That's correct, smart. Okay, hard working work, hard work, and say, working smart. I'm saying knowledge. That's aspect, correct. And, oh. and a bit of maybe good timing, luck. Good timing, luck, yes. Oh. And the right connections, maybe mm, the right people yeah. around you, the right it, support system. Right support system, yeah. And my well, of course, my wife. So during the time, grabi good ang among, grabi good ang among paninguha. So 1990. Your wife was active in helping you, or yeah, during the time, yeah, yeah, that's correct, yeah, okay. very active. Yeah, in um, 98, nidagan ko pag akong sihal sa ciudad, no? Mauto ni daog na ka. No, wala. Awa pa, na, uh, na pildi na ko, I was the number one who was But lost, no? In spite of losing, you still gave it other yeah, shots. Yeah, sige good. No? Okay. Okay. But good enough na yeah, sa gisulti sa gisulti na nimo ay lack nga gamay because kapil din ako 1998 that was again the group of Tami in, hmm. in 2001 medyo na may disagreement si uh, Mayor Garcia ug si Tami so Tami ran again So, yeah. nangita siya ang mga kauban. So, ako may labing dool kay number one sa napilde. <laughs> so, I was one of those people who were... Also, in, at the right place. Oh, yeah. At the right time. <laughs> so, na, yeah, that was the time na kadaog ko. And, yeah, with, with, with... Well, of course, tabang sa mga amigo. But, of course, dito sa ginoo. Then, uh, I was able to make it. Na, na, then, when I, we started it, maunti yung ay mga... High rise sa uh, Ayala, mm-hmm. then you will have this. Pas pas under- development. Yeah, yeah. Like when I was in elementary, wala pa. Wala pa yun na. Ayala oh, pa lang. Oh, 1998. Yeah. yeah. Later on, <laughs> dagan na kay kaya. Kining buildings. Yeah. So that that was it, and then yeah, until now we're still very active in electrical engineering practice, and at the same time I'm very active in in my advocacy. Not uh, not very active on the things that I'm doing in City Hall kay ang ako it's more of kami magod murag fiscalizer me din ha karon kay we don't have any committee so ang akong focus is more on my advocacy karon mm-hmm. plan yeah. what advice would you give to like the youth like mm-hmm. uh, the younger generation mm-hmm. in terms of uh, career mm-hmm. all aspects um the only thing that I sh- akong nabantayan when we started it out is you start something that unsa gyud imong gusto passion uh, yeah oh nagud kay gusto nga like for example kami like oh, na linya nimo or linya what, you're good, good oh. at, what you're inclined to do yes no? because when i started this business like started furniture i started a lot of things diving but i don't have the knowledge ba mm-hmm. so, so wala gyud to ni prosper to oh. hand, no? it has for it to yeah. last and that's sustain. correct so kinahanglan na gyud kay certain knowledge no kay ako being an electrical engineer So I think my my direction is more of unsa ko no unsay akong gusto ba unsay linya linya good oh plus gusto it's correct so it can sustain itself yeah. across time yes mao well, good na because i think if di ka kamao na you pursue it i think it will well, be much, because much you're more dependent difficult. actually on people and there na, will be other people na na jump start na yes will be way ahead of you mm, yeah that's correct so kung kung dili kayo ka maayo sa usa ka you know sa usa ka imong endeavor unya but under the mercy gyud ka sa ubang tao mm. mao ra gyud na no, or like for example me being an electrical engineer bahala nagbiyahan ko sa kung tao kay kamao man gusto ako bisag ako na lang uh, you can do it on your own <laughs> yeah kay if di ka kamao ba sin binuangan mo ra gyud ka ubiyan ka then the business will stop so mo nang nahitabo sa wala na ako So knowledge and yeah. competence is yeah. also quite important. Yeah, nang imog yung yeah passion. Yeah, that's that correct. Mo gud ni imo. Sometimes ang pagsugod mang god, it's not important is what is makuha ni mo makuha ni mo monetarily. What is important is the knowledge nga imong makuha because yeah, mo yeah. nang issue no because mm-hmm. I think most people focus more on the monetary That's aspect correct. of it. Oh. Kana ang maglabaw ba? Maglabaw. So mahog pinugos kay ni mm. ilang endeavors mm. then it falls flat because yes. it lacks the the soul. That's correct. Behind it. That's yeah, that lacks the soul. Mao gina ang right term. Yeah, kay ang imo man god is kung kwarta ra gyud wa gyud I mean wa ki focus wa. Yes. And you tend to shortcut mm. the process. Na shortcut jud ka. 
Because when you when you started, parehan ako, when I started being an electrical engineer, lahi mang good kaayo ang naa sa libro o naa sa practical. Oh, ang it's, libro, I think, oh, is limited. Although, oh, theoretical... Theoretically, uh, makuha ni mo. But how to do it? Lahi yung kaayo. So, ang application, uh, application. Plus, mm. being in a certain like culture mm. or dynamic, it's it's completely different. Yes. So it requires some flexibility. That's and, correct. And discarte. Mm, discarte. No? So, pagsugod, wag yun, mag... Kung ang imong kontrata 5,000, ang imong gasto 10,000. But it's it's something uh, you should learn. And one thing also is that when you're doing something, you need to improve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you improve until such time na na nakadintos pinaka perfect. Okay, yeah. In fact, sometimes ang perfect na pa magyuna imong isunod. Okay, Kadaghanan man good sa gihimo na ako. Sige, tubo. No? Sige, Sige, yung tubo ang imong imong. Like sa, yeah, during the time when we started to put electrical uh, electrical let's say boxes oh sa usa ka adlaw maghimo lang mi og nako so my target is doing it by 20 mm-hmm. then another 20 so at least kung kung of course kung panta, kung panti ka nang napo lang you'll never grow but if you need to improve then that's the time nang uh, mangita kag paagi so kung why improvement yeah that's kaisin no? that's uh, a yeah, japanese <laughs> japanese uh, Improvement, you know, uh, continuous, oh, continuous improvement. improvement. Yeah, that's what it means. That's that's uh, that's. Naman said na sa mga car dealerships. Yeah, oh, best practices. Yeah, so and really everything you do, you need to come improve up with efficient mm. systems. To yeah, constantly innovate and, yeah. and get better. Okay, unsa pa ko an success tips? <laughs> what else can you? Do? Well, the, the other thing is how you handle your people because ang mga taong mga good nga under ni mo, mga good ni mo, mga warriors, yeah. o dili good ni sila maayong pagkasabot, o kung say, um, what is important is for them to know what is, kung sa mga giyoy atong punto, kung sa atong buhat, kung sa vision, say, oh, say vision kung sa goal na ito. Oh. Goal. Mm. Para di sa atong rati. Yeah. Kanang manok way ulo That's na. correct. Oh, yeah. Like, you should un- let them understand nga. Unsa yung makuha nila aside from the monetary. Mm-hmm. Kaya like for example, we'll have the building. Kaning, for example, kaning building nga dagko kayo sa, sa Ayala Center of Cebu. Kita yung nagtrabaho ka na. So, ang concept nung mo that we need to complete this in the next three years because aside from the money that we can help and feed our family, you can always tell your kid that that building is I'm part of that and you're mm-hmm. part of that too. So, marag, there is a connection between that guy and that building that you're working in. So, marag, kuan siya ba? Ano siya emotional no, value? Mm-hmm. Meaningful. Oh, no? meaning ba? Yeah. Aside from the money that I can get, well, if you're doing this, we will have to do that. We'll have, we call that as, well, about katong istorya na carrot and the stick. No, Sometimes you give, impose to them, but sometimes you give also an incentive to them. Mm-hmm. Oh, nai, tinanglo niya, constant yun nga, the other is constant connection with the people. Kay pasagdan gud na ni mo, they intend to be lax and then di sila maka-deliver. Mm-hmm. So these are very important things na imong ma- mahatag yun sa sa atong mga tao. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one good thing right now is that we have the technology. Okay, if, if my people are working there and they can also get that shot and and send it to me. Di ba nindot kayo karon? Di ba yung sa una gad Oh, layo kayo ang atong project dugay kayo tamang kibahong sa inaitabong yeah. okay what about kining uh, Cebu economy now we're facing a pandemic mm-hmm. a crisis uh, how do you foresee COVID and yeah what's the outlook with um, Cebu, particularly with Cebu yeah Cebu my uh, being part of the city council I realized nga although ang atong naghinay ang atong uh, movement of course naghinay ka naghinay ang atong economy but makita gyud nako na din sa city hall there are certain businesses nga nag sige gyud gihapon na certain businesses na nanaw og ilang sales yeah, but there are new affected. there are new ser- services sad nga nang sud kay mas na resourceful mang guta or because of this pandemic that's correct like yeah we learned oh. how to adapt oh, oh. and we saw na we mm. must efficient man din in a way. Yes, oh, like, um, yeah, for example, and everything's lang, no? more oh. focused online now. Yes, yeah. so sa amo, sa amo nga case, although construction me, I can monitor our people through the technology. Kaya makita mo na kung ilang itrabaho, kadoong dari. Yeah. 
So, now for construction, I would say na murag, sige, 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 good siguro ni, no? Tara na, uh, tanong yun na ako because nag, nag-open naman ang uba na mong mga project in the next um, uh, months, especially in 2022, we're promised to uh, sa mga clients na mag-continue na ta. Pero Cardon, hmm? padayon na tanan project. Ah, padayon, ni, although it's not really uh, na pulse. Na uh, babag sa cons- construction na industry. W- wala kayo, Mike. Wala kayo. Na. Oh, wala. Although naalang yung mga protocols nga sa mga dagko nga company. Nga Sorry, no? Ang paperwork, you have to submit certain things. Yes, and it yes. Takes time, mm-hmm. and it takes time. It mm-hmm. messes up the momentum. That's correct, yeah. Oh. But sige lang, at least maanad na lang yung tao niya. Pag so did to, na ay, dili pa ka so direct, so na pa check up, uh, but at least na certain mura o ganun. Ang transition ba nga, at least maanad siguro ta. In fact, sa, there is a building na where I work, at least naanad na sa me nga, na kay vaccine card, mao na lang, tumating na lang ba? Na imong mapakita. But hopefully, hopefully, ha? <coughs> ang Cebu man good, mura Dynamic mga good kayo ang mga tao. Kanya, kanang smart ang atong mga mga, mga Cebuanos. <laughs> I think kana kama omen ang oh. Cebuanos, mm-hmm. hard working, resourceful. Mm-hmm. They have all these good qualities. Yes, ba? Uh, yeah, but it's yeah, just a matter of oh. unifying. And yeah, yeah. Being head uh, oriented mm-hmm. towards the right mm-hmm. direction. And hopefully in 2022 we'll have a new mayor nga kanag yung focus yeah. on sa tanan yun nga aspect it's not only health it's not only economy but everything na no? gitan o yun nga makaayo yeah and recently campaign season naman yeah, karo, no? yeah, like elections yeah. mm-hmm. fast approaching that's correct yeah how do you foresee our political landscape also <laughs> um, right well in in sa local Mike um, we're actually in place na sa grupo sa BOPK in fact uh, in the next year mag mo full na yun ang campaign and we have we have a yeah we have a structure nga para na ako nga nga medyo ready na gyud no considering na ang grupo namo is more of kanang murag nanay mga veterano na ba yes yes <laughs> uh, uh, mga na so mura na na oh. <laughs> okay. there are some new ones but uh, well they have also their own you know talents actually okay uh any parting message to whoever will be viewing this in the future to our community to our citizens <laughs> yeah well what we're what we're trying to, to do here generation. yeah what we're trying to to show here is some small you know some small um programs or initiatives that well for me it's very practical and i hope that um well to those people who are Uh, looking and watching this episode they could probably look into the you know um, the aspects where they can where they can help aside from well the solar which is a little bit expensive now if you want to you to consult or you want to ask something about solar you can well of course you can always uh, call me through my cell phone I'll give you my number 0917-323-5807 or to my messenger, no? Nestor Archival. Um, the other thing that I could also share and I could probably ask you is to bring down the cost of electricity. Bring down the cost of electricity by using the electricity efficiently. Okay? Well, you need to, you need to understand that TV using the remote control if you are using that remote control to off your tv you are consuming at least 10 to 20 centavos per hour mm, if you're said, dependent on the tv and that you're using across oh, uh, oh. a number of months so in using that tv you should off the tv you could probably have something like a power strip and you'll have on and off mm. You can just imagine if you have two TVs, three TVs in your house, nya nag remote ka, nya wa ni mo i off good ang TV, then you're spending a lot of money there. The other thing is to make sure that your uh, air conditioning units could be put into 23, 24, or even 22 or 21. Because the moment you have that, 
then you can reduce your electricity by 20%, at least 20%. Because you know, in 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 a electric in 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 an organizing unit, you have two motors. One mm. is the fan, and one is the compressor. So if you're going to use the low temperature, your compressor and your fan is always working. But if you're going to use a certain temperature, a cooling comfort, at certain uh, temperature, mo off ang imong compressor. So this is one way of, of course, helping yourself, mm. helping the. Well, helping your house. The other thing, the third one, which is very practical, is try to look into your kanabitang in yung uh, water closet, my kanang water closet ninyo. Abut na ganin nagu sa Normally, ang iyang mga fittings ana mag madaot na na, and there it, it will always be leaking. So one way to check is that you put something like kanang blue, kanang anil, butang sa imong tanke. Yeah. At certain times, mawa gani na, your tank is leaking. Now, if your tank is leaking, you will be spending a lot of money for the whole year just to, you know, uh, just to, you know, replace your water in the tank. So th that's for, for electricity, for, for, for what we call as the waste management. If you have a place where you can put your biodegradable at the back of your house, that's the best thing to do. Masawam na nimo, maglungag lang siguro ka o gamay ng lungag na sayi sa balde. Yung katung balde imutong buslutan, imutong ibutang ang balde ng buslut. And then put all everything that you can think of, butang dito nya tabo na nimo. Ning kapuno hulbuto ng balde. Magkaut na sa kaspi kaskilid. So until Ma biodegradable nga in a way. So in that case, you're helping the city, or helping the community in a way because the moment you throw your garbage, you're spending a lot of money from your taxes. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I can suggest or try to ask that um, try to do uh, something that can benefit you and of course the community now doing these things like energy conservation water conversa uh, conservation you are doing a lot for yourself and at the same time you're doing a lot for the community <laughs> okay so hopefully in the near future we can uh, get closer to <laughs> yeah the, the things that we're trying to you know to advocate <laughs> Okay, thank you once again, uh, Councillor. Yeah, thank you, Mike. It's truly uh, an honor and a pleasure having you on. Of course, me too. <laughs> yes. Until next time, maybe yeah, we yeah. can talk again further. Yeah, thank you for the, for the leave. No? Well, we will have to give some reports or you know, updates of what, what are the things that I found out in the yes, next yes. few months. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. To mm. all uh, viewers, take care, keep safe. I hope you took something from this episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>